So we are just parked outside the Bronston Tunnel and you can see the uh, pollution, just <laughs> diesel fumes etc coming out of the tunnel entrance and it's been like that for quite a while now from the last boat coming through. But we are moored up now so we're going to stop here for the night and we'll move on again in the morning. So good morning on another lovely day on the canal and just behind me in the distance you'll see Bronston Tunnel. We came out of there last night, or later in the day anyway, and it was uh, quite an interesting experience, which it all has been on the canal, because neither of us <coughs> have been here and done it before. But I dare say, he's going to do it a lot more, it's his boat. <laughs> <laughs> you enjoying it so far then? Absolutely fantastic, idyllic. He loves it. It's, uh, it's definitely an experience. I've just come down to help him for the week while he's purchased the boat and brought it here. But uh, certainly enjoyed it. Everybody's really friendly. It's been absolutely fantastic. Definitely have to get one. It's a different life to living in a house. Really, really good. There's another canal boat coming down now. Obviously getting ready to, he ready to head into the tunnel. Right, we'll get... Uh, Packed up, ropes untied, and I think we'll head off. Bill's working, headlight working, home working, engine heat. Oop, needs a bit more. Uh, no. You'll get your nose knocked. Come on, back out the way. Get your nose knocked. And he's got it at last. my penny. She goes everywhere with me. Well travelled. I much prefer PG these days. It doesn't give me a hangover. And yes, Alan, radio check, all good. And once again some wonderful canal side properties. Tea and scones. There was a jam on top or underneath. Lovely little gardens. Somewhere to sit in the summer. And just ahead, a flight of locks taking us downhill. But first past a load of 
Canal and River Trust work boats. Not doing much today. I bet they've seen some action in the time. I think this one's seen better days. Working boats of all varieties. And here we are, heading into our first lock of the day. It's a double lock on the Grand Union. And fortunately for us, this lock is manned by a locky. just makes our life a little bit easier. Not that it's hard in the first place. I enjoy doing the locks. I guess that's why there's lots of volunteers do it. Pleasant place to be. Go on inside, son. Oh look, another canal side pub. I bet Alan didn't miss that one. He doesn't miss them. This time I get to ride down in the lock, first time. All the other locks have been operating. There he is. Happy chatty. Just introducing themselves. Thanks very much. It's the first time I get to see what it's like. Little bit of spillage. Everybody's the nice lot that we've met. The big mighty doors open and out we go. Under a low bridge. Mind your head, Alan, or your hat will scrape the roof. Good job he's only short. Certainly a little bit busy around this area. Like dodgems. Dodgem boards. But everyone gets around no problem at all. Not far, and we're off to our second lock. You staying inside, Brian. Good boy. Again, there's some lovely canal side properties. Nice gardens. Quite a few along the waterways. And the willows. a few work boats along the Grand Union. All different shapes and sizes. A lot of history. But here he is. He's the boss. I do all the running about. Well, you get on do that bit and I'll do the running around. You're like one of them slave drivers that stands <laughs> at the back just pointing all the time, telling everyone what to do. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> stands there with a big stick in his hand, telling everyone what to do. Yeah, well. If I tell the boy, you can have the big stick. <laughs> <laughs> Poor old Roger the cabin boy gets all the abuse. <laughs> So quickly on the centre line, just while we wait for the lock to become available. 
and the frayed old rope, they'll all get replaced. And some more lovely little canal side cottages. So here we go on lock 8 of, well, this flight. And we'll lower the water out and we will be off down to lock 7. Lock 7. It doesn't take long to get through them. It's all good fun. I'm enjoying it. How wrong you are. It's lock 9. You're going the wrong way, sir. So, quickly descending in lock 9, which is our second lock of the day. Well, it is better than camper vans. Sadly for me, the trains are the only thing that spoils the canals. I can't find any other thing wrong. But I shouldn't complain, because I've used the trains myself. Quickly descending with the wonders of technology. I'm still smiling, Captain. So, quickly moving on, we're getting through the locks quite quick. And here he comes into gate 11. We are fairly getting through them. Very noisy here from the trains and the road. I think it's the only thing that spoils in our boats is the noise from other forms of travel. Slow and steady, sir, slow and steady. So we've done a good few locks now from the start of our journey. Basically all a repeat of each other, they're quite simple to do. There's quite often lockies on hand, or other people around who like joining in.
Still a lot of noise from the road traffic, but uh, we're getting through the locks now. Gate 12, or lock 12. A little bit of maintenance required on this uh, gate paddle. And I've been told one of the uh, gates is a bit sticky. Sitting, waiting till we get through the locks. The poor little boys. Not be long soon. He'll be out. We'll take you for a walk. Keeping your boat clear of the big concrete shelf, the sill on the way down, or it can sink your boat. There she is, Penny, good as gold. Somebody seems to be snoring. Worn out. A hard day, Brian. Go and see what Alan's doing. Go and see him. Come on, Penny, go and see him. Come on, Alan. One last push for Britain. We're on the last lock, number 13. Yet again on another fantastic sunny day. That's actually been very interesting. People are all friendly and I've enjoyed it. Brilliant! Absolutely brilliant. So I think we get through here and it's time to stop, let the dogs out and have a cup of tea. We'll pull over at the, just out the gate and uh, we'll have a cup and let the dogs out. So that's it for today, we're through the last lock down at Witten Marina. Yeah, park it up. The Grand Union Canal is one of the best known canals in the UK and is certainly one of the busiest. You can clearly tell the difference 
from the other canals we've spent time on. So here we are passing rugby boats. Well I've heard of them before. And I've been on the website. It's amazing the places you finally get to see. I've watched uh, canal boat channels and videos for years. Finally got round to being on one. There's a cute little small deer boat for hire. That would be handy for someone to have a quick learning deer. I recommend you give it a go. It looks like a busy working area this. Plenty of boats around. Moored up and on the move. There she is, out getting some fresh air. Come on, Penny. She's used to travelling. And there's little Brian, waiting to come up. Come on then, let's be having ya. Steady. Come on. Good boy. Passing some little boats, not much bigger than my camper van. I believe they range from the tiny right up to about 70 foot. And yet more lovely canal side properties right on a marina. Bookbrook Marina. And we're going to moor up just outside take the dogs for a walk. So, Kaplan's log on approximately day eight, I think it is. Something like that. Something like that. Who cares? Who cares? No one's in a rush. So, so we left the tunnel, the long tunnel, and we... This has we, been our longest day. It has been the longest day. It has been a very long day, because we left, we left our mooring, I was going to say park up, mm -hmm. and we turned right onto the Grand Union, yes. and we came to the flight locks at Witten Marina. Is there seven flight locks there? There's seven, I'm sure there's seven. Yeah, and we Come went, uh, we, we butted up with another boat, so two two boats went down the flight together, so we all worked together, which, yeah. lovely couple, and we went down the, the seven locks, I think, mm -hmm. kept the little boys 
inside because they are big deep locks uh, kept the dogs inside went down there we got down absolutely no problems or hindrance at all and where did we end up we went a another 10 mile or something didn't we yes we, we yes we, today's been the longest day we we stopped at a pub and we saw them people who we left behind yeah we, we keep wizard. passing everyone don't we yes yeah we've we seen keep the same people three four times we keep leapfrogging them it's great it's beautiful everybody talks it's great so we did approximately what 10 mile past the locks 10 plus i think it's close to 13 miles yeah, so really. something like that past the locks and we stopped at bugworth wasn't it bugbrook 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 i'll get the bugger right yet i don't know bugbrook and there was, a, there was a little pub there so we called in for a couple yes of... i've been there that's see now we're at a point where i've actually walked to along the canal you know where you're at here now so yes i've actually been i haven't been on the canal but i've been alongside the canal but, Basically, two novices have managed to get the canal boat mm. in really relaxed time yes. all the way down, and we're at Bugbrook. We've had a hell of a holiday. Yeah, it's been absolutely fantastic. Uh, obviously, I've got to go home. I've only come down to help and move the boat. and uh, I've he, got to go to work. He's got to go to work, but he's now <laughs> going to live on this for the foreseeable future. This is my house. This is his my house. My home. And it has been exceedingly fantastic, so... I've enjoyed it. I think the dogs and the uh, Penny the Pussycats enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. It's been brilliant. So thanks for having us down here. Yes. And I think I've got another day left as we get a little bit further along to Gaten Marina. We're going to stop prior to Gaten Marina. Gaten Marina. Yeah, we'll stop down there. So that's the general plan of it. So tonight's, well, tonight's done. The approximately day. All eight. plans can be changed at the last moment. Exactly. Let's get the kettle on again. Or oh, you've got a beer anyway, it's a waste beer. of time. He likes his beer. Okay, so Captain's Log. a bloody beer. Captain's Log out. <laughs> Captain's Log. <laughs> He's right. always giggling. There's something wrong with this guy. He only gets full of hell when he drives his car. Yeah. Anyway, don't do that. Captain's Log out. Bye bye. <laughs> so most pirates tend to have a parrot. <laughs> So most pirates tend to have a parrot, of course. I've got a cat. Penny. Penny cat. So most pirates... <laughs> yes, so most pirates tend to have a parrot on their shoulders. And look, I've got a cat. But it's a canal boat cat, Penny. There we go. So she'll sit there while we chug away down. She's no bother at all. So here we are on board. Here we are on Alan's narrow boat and most uh, pirates tend to have a parrot. And I tend to have a pussycat. <laughs> I'll do it again. Do it a few times.